Sometime in January 1997 I picked up this copy of Edge magazine and on the front cover I saw this, a black PlayStation. I wasn't sure what it was, whether it was a, a new PlayStation or PlayStation 2 or something like that, until I read at the bottom, Yarose, Black to Basics for Sony, and the cultivation of new programming talent is one of the biggest problems facing the video game industry today. Sony, however, thinks it has a solution. Will its revolutionary Yarose system really bring new blood into the development community, or is it little more than a white elephant? So, this was the first time I had seen or even heard of this Yarose, or Net Yarose as it was called, uh, development kit for the PlayStation. And he opened up the magazine. Saw this very attractive PlayStation system and an introduction to it. Basically saying that it's going to be released February 28th, 1997 by Sony. It's going to cost £550 and as well as the PlayStation itself it's going to contain um, a serial cable for connecting to a PC or a Mac, uh, a CD filled with PlayStation programming libraries, a C compiler and debugger, example called Pretty much everything you would expect to find in a development kit and that would allow you to to start doing development for PlayStation. I was very interested in this, intrigued as well, excited. I wanted one but at £550 and the requirement of a PC and perhaps the fact that you needed some C development knowledge was off-putting and basically I couldn't get one but it was always a, an ambition of mine to get hold of one and last week 21 years later <laughs> I managed to buy one uh, coincidentally for exactly £550 off uh, a seller on eBay and here it is It's not boxed, uh, except for the, the development tools themselves. Uh, the unit isn't boxed. It comes with two joy pads. I've just left one out here. The idea of this video, I'm hoping, is to get the Net Yarose set up through this uh, Sony Trinitron 14-inch TV, through my PC, and hopefully start developing something very simple just to prove to myself that uh, that I can do it I suppose so this is the software development tool box uh, list of contents startup guide library reference user guide net Yarose boot disk and net Yarose software development disk as well as an access card and a communication cable. Now this is 21 years old, so I'm not sure in what condition it's in. Pretty good. These are two discs. That's the boot disc and the development disk. Library reference, startup guide and user guide. And here we've got the access card, Nick Yarosi.
the communications cable. Um, I've got that put to one side. Uh, I'll connect that up when uh, we come to actually firing this up, putting it into the television. Just want to quickly go through these these books. First one, Startup Guide, the software development tool. Now I haven't looked at any of these, so I'm really starting from scratch here. That's uh, the exciting part of it. So this is probably a good place to start anyway, because it's an introductory booklet explaining the contents and requirements of the Net Yarosi Starter Kit. It also gives step-by-step -step instructions on setting up the Net Yarosi software on your PC and how to run Net Yarosi software on the system. Introduction. The Net Yarosi Starter Kit is an integrated environment for developing PlayStation software on your personal computer. Work developed on a PC can be played by downloading to a special PlayStation available only to members of NetYarose. Members can then share their creations and knowledge with other members via a unique members-only website server provided by Sony Computer Entertainment. I'm not sure whether that website exists anymore. So it says here, ID and password for access to the members only website will be provided with your welcome pack. I don't have that. Being a member of NetYarosi, I don't think there's going to be much joy with being a member of NetYarosi. Simply because it's 21 years later, so presumably the website is offline and there's no market for these games anyway. Even if something was developed, it's not as if you can go and sell them. So, perhaps I'm on my own. Yeah. Site can't be reached, so. Contents of the package. Um, controllers times two, yeah. Access card, boot disk, development disk, communication cable, and the three manuals. Okay. You need the following hardware and software in order to use the NetYarose development environment. A PC compatible with a 486, well, needless to say I've got that. Uh, serial ports, no, it doesn't have a serial port, but I've got a USB serial port cable, so that shouldn't be a problem. 10 megabytes of free disk space, I think I've got that. Yeah, standard TV monitor. I mean, I'm using a Sony Trinitron. Probably can't get much better than that in terms of picture quality and size. Well, software Windows 95. Well, we'll have to see about that. I'm just going to concentrate on this page for a few minutes. Uh, it's the hardware connection setup. Uh, it shows you how to connect the NetYarose PlayStation to the PC, to the television, um, so that you can actually see the development screen. It does mention again the NetYarose members on the website. Um, I think I've already proved that that's no longer accessible, so I'm just hoping that uh, that's not an essential part of this. Okay, so this is the the unit itself. I think it's pretty much like a standard PlayStation or the first version of the PlayStation anyway. I know it is region free, so you can play as well as UK PAL version games, you can play uh, Japanese and American games. So looking at the back, there's the serial input output, audio video cable connections. AV multi out, I think that's you can use um, a SCART cable and obviously the power. And I think that's it, there's, there's no other connections that are required for getting this hooked up. 
I've already got the power on. What I'm doing, I'm not plugging it into the television. I'm actually plugging it into um, a HDD video recorder so that I can record um, the work that I'm doing so that uh, I can put it into the video. So, get the AV cables. These in. Then, according to the manual, I've got to connect the comms cable to the PC. Here's the comms cable. So I'm going to plug that in. the serial input output port like that and the other end as I mentioned earlier modern PCs simply don't have serial ports so I've had to buy an adapter USB to RS-232 serial adapter cable. So there it is. Put the USB into the PC. And then the PlayStation into that. There we go. Okay. The next part of this is to yeah, AV cable to TV. So we need the access card, which is here. Put that into PlayStation. Put the pad in while we're here. Controller, access card, and now the Eurose boot disk, which is this one here. Pretty good condition after 21 years. Okay. Let's try it out. So that's the NetEurosi Development Kit home screen. So that's the first first job done. <laughs>